Hey, welcome to Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Today, you guys know I love meatloaf. I've done it in a Dutch oven with, in a buck pan. I've done it in a cast iron skillet, and I've done it in a crock pot. Well, today, on the Master Build Electric Smoker, we're doing another meatloaf. Yeah, I love meatloaf. So, stay tuned. I think you're going to like it. Okay, let's get started. Of course, I always like putting on some protection. Oh. Now we're going to start off with hamburger meat. And this is 80-20. Only three pounds, man. Three pounds. Let me get rid of this. All right, we're gonna bust this up a little bit. Next, I'm going to add some onions and green peppers, and these right here were already cut for me. Sometimes these are pretty nice, so we'll put that in there. Might as well, I've got one pound of bacon. We're going to put that in there. Now normally I'd have you guys over here with me, but... Tell you what, let's do that. That way... Alright, as you can see, we got the bacon, we got that, we got all the other crap. Next... Ugh, stove top stuffing. Now you might be asking why am I doing that? Because it will also absorb some of it's a filler and it absorbs the grease. We'll go ahead and mix this up a little bit right here. Just a little bit there. Next, I'm going to do some mixed vegetables. Now I'm going to get rid of the juice. I'm just pouring this right here. I like mixed vegetables. If you've ever watched any of the other ones that I've done, I've explained why I put mixed, mixed vegetables in there. Excuse me while I can't talk. But simple reason, it's a meal all by itself. You don't mess up anything else. Next is salsa. Yeah, I'm using the uh, mild because I don't like hot. We'll mix that around. It won't hardly let it dry out either. It gives it some good moisture also. All right. Last but not least, and a lot of you are going to cringe when I do this. Oh. Just had to get me a paper towel. Pineapple. <clears throat> Excuse me, pineapple. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to take the juice and I'll put it in my glass because you know what I'll drink it so 
let's start mixing it all together. Now, when you do a meatloaf, you can do it any way you want it. I'm doing it my way. I know I'm going to probably get a couple of comments on what I should have done or whatever, but I like it like this. All right, let's put this in a pan. What do you say? All right, let's dump this in here. Make sure we get all the goodness out of it here. Then we'll flatten her out. Man, I wish this was already done. You just don't know what, how good this is. Take the gloves off. Last but not least, it's ketchup. I put a lot of ketchup on it. That's what makes a pizza halfway decent. Now this right here is 24 ounces. get all we can out of that right there for now now you can always set this thing upside down in the in the refrigerator and get some more out of it all right let's let's smooth this sucker out a little bit here look to catch up Too bad. Now does it? Take no. There we go. Let's take this out to the smoker. Now the electric belt smoker is 250 degrees, and we'll keep tabs on it until it's ready. So let's go out to the smoker. All right, let's put this sucker in here. Now I'm going to put it on the bottom. Or at least try to. If I can. You can see the pan is a little bit too big, but that's okay. It'll still cook. We'll come back here and check it. Okay, let's get the uh, meatloaf out of here. Then I'll take the pan. We'll see if we can slide, slide it under the meat loop. Yeah, difficult times, kids, difficult times. Whoa. All right. There we go. Let's take her inside. Well, there you have it. Get it. Get it. We'll get us a little, a little one here. I already put some in here. I've been eating on people. I'm sorry. It's some good stuff. Let me get my spoon out.
Yeah, you can hear the supervisor here. But there he is. Here, let me take a bite. Mmm. What's the end? Pineapples, yes. Using the salsa, yes. Using the uh, uh, stove top stove, yeah. Veg all, yeah. Like I said, when it comes to meatloaf, make it your own. You know, it's, it's you know, whatever you like. If you want to put bread in it, you want to put crackers in it, whatever. Just do it. But anyway, like I always say, tell your friends about us. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment, a nice comment. Uh, ring the bell and do a little dance. And this is Jeff for Tennessee Buck Outdoors. And We'll see you next time.